Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good evening. Good evening. Heart Ministry Network TV. That's just the truth. Anyhow, with the okay. Weathersby's of Sound the Alarm Ministry, we're back at you for another week. Pastor Vanders Arthur and Weathersby. Pastor Sherry o. Weathersby. Amen. Amen. We thank God. We thank God for each and every one of you for coming back. Loyal, loyal viewers. We, we appreciate you very yes, much. We do. Amen. We're going to go into, uh, we're going to get started. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Father God, we just want to thank and praise and worship you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your power. Thank you right now for the blood of Jesus that will never lose its power. Thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah. For our heart ministry, O oh God, Network TV. Amen. We thank you for the CEOs, Pastor Ken and Brenda Divers, O oh God. Thanking you, God, for the victory that we have through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thanking you for your forgiveness, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, as we all come, O oh God, to be blessed at your feet, God, to hear the undulterated, uncompromising word of God that's coming by way of the power of the Holy Ghost in demonstration and manifestation of your purpose in our life, O oh God. Thank you for illuminating our minds, eyes, O oh God. Hallelujah. Giving us all an ear to hear what you, the Spirit, is saying unto us that we may not only hear but receive believe and be a doer of it father in jesus name oh god hallelujah we just want to thank you god and, and just want to praise you for saving setting free healing and delivering oh god in jesus name oh god let the words of our mouth and the meditation in our heart be acceptable in our sight oh lord our strength and our redeemer in jesus name we pray and our souls say Amen. We're coming out of Job, Amen. the first chapter. Amen. Praise God. Now, I guess 18. We're going to start the 17 verse. 18. Hmm? 18. 18 verse. Amen. Job 1, 18. And I'm coming out of the <coughs> study Bible by Zondervan or Zondervan. Amen. The 18 verse. While he was still speaking, another messenger also came and said, your sons and your daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house. And suddenly a great wind came from across the desert and struck the four corners of the house. It fell on the young people and they died. And I alone have escaped to tell you. Then Job got up and tore his robe, shaved his head in mourning for the children. And he fell on the ground and worshiped God. He said, Naked, without possessions, I came into this world from my mother's womb. And naked, I will return there. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Through all this, Job did not sin, nor did he blame God. Praise God. That was Job, the first chapter, 18 through the 22nd verse. And may God continue. Praise God. Hallelujah. The word is already blessed. And we thank God for the blessed word of God. Amen. And we also thank God, as always, for God's word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. We're continuing on with this with the series. Uh, will you will you be able to withstand the testing of your faith? Will you be able to withstand the testing of your faith? In the previous two weeks, we talked about how, as believers in Christ, you're going to be tested. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to be tested just because of your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, this testing is not just something that's uh, designed for us to, uh, 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 to have to, you know, you know how it is with a lot of people when they say they have to take a test mm -hmm. and they really don't want to take a test, but it seems like there's always a test. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just not something that's just given to you just for no reason reason. Right. No, it's not. Right. The testing of our faith is important. It's important for us to know and for, for us to know, not God, but for us to know that we're going to be able to stand up under anything that the world throws at us as believers. Why am I saying that? Because the world is not trying to have you and I to be a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The world is not trying to have us to hold on to that relationship that God has established with us through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So these tests come along to try us, to strengthen us. Yes. 
Make us strong in the yes. faith so that when the next test comes along, we're much stronger than we were before. Oh, my God. God. Marvin Sapp, I think yes. he had a song, didn't he? Yes. He said, I'm stronger. Yes. Wiser. Wiser. So, yes. much so much better. That's what testing does for you. Yes. Now, I think that might help somebody in, in, in the faith when you realize that, that, that God's way of testing us is to make us better. For yes. who, Arthur? For Your him. Kindness. Yes. For him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So here we're dealing with Job, the character of Job in the Bible, who was really tested. We know he was. Uh, we're now in the first, uh, the first chapter in the 18th verse. And mm -hmm. while he was still speaking, that was another messenger. Another messenger also came and said, your sons and your daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house. And suddenly... A great wind came across from the desert and struck the four corners of the house, and it fell on the young people, and they died. Mm -hmm. And I alone have escaped to tell you. Now, up to now, there have been about mm -hmm. three different messengers that have come forth to give Job a whole lot of bad news. Mm -hmm. All the possessions, when you go back in the first chapter of Job, at the beginning of it, mm -hmm. it talked about all Job owned, all yes. that he possessed, gone. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, we got another messenger coming, telling him about the seven sons and the three daughters that he had they're now gone mm -hmm. oh my god now now that's a test that's a test now, now some of us may not have a uh, uh, loss as much as job loss mm -hmm. but any loss is a loss right. uh-huh and, 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 and it's according to the measure of or what type of value you place on that loss mm -hmm. See, oh my god I'm gonna help somebody sometimes people have a tendency to minimize the effect of a loss on another person mm -hmm. why because they don't think it's all that. Why? Yeah. Why are you worried? Why are you upset about losing this or losing that? Mm -hmm. Well, the reason why you're saying that because you had no connection to it. Mm -hmm. You had no connection to it at all. You have to get into the place of that other person to understand their pain and their hurt. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then and then and then what happened, Arthur? This is what Job did. Then Job got up tore his robe and shaved his head in mourning for the children mm -hmm. and he fell to the ground and worshiped God mm -hmm. oh my god now I gotta get that oh my god this is good when we first read the scripture some time ago mm -hmm. uh-huh uh, and the last several weeks we've been reading this scripture mm -hmm. this is a good verse right here Job got up tore his robe and shaved his head now mind you he had four different messengers come to him mm -hmm. telling him about things that he had lost Possessions. First three talked about possessions. Mm -hmm. The last one was his children. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he got up, tore his robe, and shaved mm -hmm. his head in mourning for the children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the children. Mm -hmm. Now, here's something. That's a that's a this is part of a test as well for believers in Christ. What 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 kind of value will you place on earthly things? That's right. Some of us, some of us have gotten so engrossed in earthly things, we place an extreme value on, on earthly things. So much so that when we lose it, it just destroys our whole existence. Yes. yes. Job did not allow that to happen to him. That's right. That's why God was able to brag about Job to the devil. Because Job did not, he, he saw that what he had on this earth was temporal. That's right. But he had something more greater than that. Mm -hmm. And we'll find out as we get through the end of the scripture. But I like the idea that he got down uh, on, and he, and he fell on the ground and worshiped God in, in mourning for his children. That's right. For his children. Amen. Because, go ahead. Because in the beginning, it was his children that he prayed for. That's right. He didn't pray over the, over the possessions, over the cows and the camels and, and over all the things that he had. Praise God. He prayed over his children. Could it be that they had done something? Could it be that he, they have sinned? Could it be that they have cursed God in their hearts? This is what Job did. Amen. And it's, it's just a matter of, of what you place value on. That's right. Do you place value over the possessions you have, or do you, or you place value on the things that's more important? Family. Fam oh, my God. Oh, my God. How many people, mm -hmm. how many people have gone and placed value on things more so than what they should have? I'll tell you what. We're going to answer that question when we come back. <laughs> we're going to pause for the cause, and we'll be Amen. right back here on Heart Ministry Amen. Network TV. Amen. 
Hello, I'm Pastor Panthers Arthur L. Weathersby. And I am Pastor Sherry L. Weathersby. We are Sound in Our Ministries, and you know what? You need to tune in on Wednesdays at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you will see that's just the truth anyhow. We look forward to seeing you there. Amen. And you know what? We got something we want to leave you with as we get ready to go. We do the thing! In, in the, the Lord, Lord. God, God bless you. Bye-bye. We're back, as promised, we and we're going to answer that question. Amen. How many of you place value on things uh, as opposed to uh, 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 the, uh, more value on things than what you should place value on? Mm -hmm. Job did not place a high value on the possessions that he lost, but he absolutely had high value for his children, mm -hmm. which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. We should. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. You should never allow things to supplant your relationship with one another. Oh, my yes, God. Right. Some people have put themselves in a position where they love their job mm -hmm. more than they love their family. Mm -hmm. Love their money more than they love their family. Mm -hmm. Lord God, help us. Mm -mm -mm. And let's, then he, yeah. Let's read 2 Corinthians 4, 8, 4, 18 on that note. Um, I believe, let's find that. 2 Corinthians hey, uh -huh. 4, 18? Yes. You got it? Yes, so we look not upon what the man of God just shared by way of the Holy Ghost. So we, let's start here. Mm. Start where? At the 16th verse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, do not become discouraged. Otherwise, we're still talking about, will you be able to pass the testing of your faith? Praise God. Therefore, do not become discouraged, spirit that's disappointed or afraid. Though our outward self is progressively wasting away, yet our inner self is being progressively renewed day by day. Had to start there for effect. For our momentary light distress, this passing trouble is producing, hallelujah, for us an eternal weight of glory, a fullness beyond all measure, surpassing all comparisons, and transcendent splendor and an endless blessedness. 18 verse. So we, why, So when you consider all that, the 18 verse um, culminates that. So we look not at the things which are what? Seen. Mm -hmm. But at the things which are unseen. Praise God. Get your sights on Jesus. Hallelujah. The eternal things. For the things which are visible are temporal. Mm -hmm. We see what happens to temporal things. Just brief and fleeting, but the things which are invisible are everlasting and imperishable. Amen. And see, that's why the Bible says here that, that what Job did was he got up and tore his robe and shaved his head in mourning for his children, and he fell to the ground and worship God because he, although he had lost all his possessions, he had lost his children, his focus was not on those things that were temporal yeah. because let me help you. Uh, even, even life is temporal. Yes. Yeah, it is. The Bible says that there's a time to be born and there's a time to die. Mm -hmm. So we're not, we're not in going to live forever on, in, on this earth. Amen. Right. Uh-huh. From the dust we came and from the dust we shall return. So what Job did was fell down and worship. He didn't worship his children. No, he didn't. He, he fell down, God. the Bible says, and worship God. And then he said, naked without possessions came into this That's world right. uh, from my mother's womb. And naked I will return there. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That is a, oh my God, that is a... A scripture right there that probably had some people just doing flips, trying to figure out what and what was wrong with Job. Oh, I know what it was. Mm -hmm. He was overcome with grief, mm -hmm. so he couldn't think clearly. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, he's thinking real clear. Real clear. He's thinking real clear. Yeah. This is the passing of your faith. Praise this is the test of passing of your faith. Yes. Because, oh, my God, we, we have to be able to look beyond those things. That, as my wife just read in 1 Corinthians. Mm -hmm. That first was 2 Corinthians 4? Uh-huh, 1 Corinthians 4. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, what she just read there. We got to look beyond those things that are seen to that which is unseen. Uh-huh. The greater is not that is seen. The greater is that that which is unseen. So when you look to God, when you look to Jesus Christ, who is the author and the finisher of our our faith, then amen, then we can go, we, we are able to, to, uh, to be able to uh, understand and deal with the things that happen uh, in, in this life, in this flesh, amen, amen. that sometimes just don't make no sense, hmm. but don't you know that all things work together to good That's right. for them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Job got to this place of understanding, now he might not have ever had occasion to make this declaration, but this is what happens when you're going through a test. Yes. God will take 
you to a place where you're going to be able to come forth with Holy Ghost boldness and confidence and declare the works of God. Amen. Naked with our possessions. I came into this Amen. world. That's recognizing where he came from. Yes. From my mother's womb. Uh -huh. And naked I will return uh -huh. there to this world. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. To the yeah, from to this earth. Amen. Uh-huh. And the Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Now, Job didn't have privy to the conversation that happened in heaven. That's right. He didn't have privy That's to that. That's right. He didn't even have the occasion uh, to commune with God in the manner that you and I commune with him today. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? He did not have the Holy Ghost. Mm, that's right. But he had an understanding of yes. God. He believed in God. And he had so much of an understanding with God, he realized that all good and perfect gifts come from the Lord. That's right. He also understood that's that authentic. when things are taken away, God's hand is in it still. That's um, right. like, like we pointed out, he didn't do, he does not do evil, but he permits it. So Satan, right. so, so I'm sorry, so Job recognizes the Lord gave and the Lord has taken away, which is his prerogative. Why is God? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, my God. Mm. Through all this, Job did not sin, nor did he blame God. Amen. Now, that's something right Amen. there. That's a passing of a test. Yes. That's the type of that's the type of uh, 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 mindset that even every believer in Christ ought to have. You ought to be able that no matter what comes at you, no matter what you mm -hmm. go through, for Christ you live, for Christ you die. Amen. What should be able to separate you from the love of God that exists within Christ Jesus? In Romans 8 chapter, going into 35th through the 39th verse, you find that there's a litany of things that ought not be able to separate you. That's right. You ought not be able to. Why? Because it's God's love that brought us together in him through Jesus Christ. And it's God's love that keeps us together through mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Amen. So are you willing? Are you willing mm -hmm. to withstand? Oh, uh, no. Will you be able, able to withstand to the testing, testing of your faith? And we got to realize, along with what, you, what you're saying, praise God, Romans 8.28 tells us, for we know. We've got, really got to know. And it's just not only knowing um, intellectually, yes, know spiritually as well, but knowing to the point that that knowing is saying there is going to be a manifestation of God in my life. Know this. Understand this, praise God, by the Spirit. Praise God, everything works together. So if something is working, that means God going to manifest some stuff. That's right. Praise God, he's going to um, demonstrate himself. Praise God, in our lives, we got to be purified. How are we going to be prepared for heaven? He's got to purify this heart. The fire of God, that's the pure, also the purification of God in our life from everything that's not like him. We have got to go through, we have got to understand Praise God, everything going to work together for the good. No, it don't feel like it. when you talk about deaths, losing loved ones and jobs and everything that we're going through, getting reports concerning our health that we never thought we, in positions we would ever be in. Mm -hmm. It's just not about quoting the scripture. It's about believing God's word. This is life. This is all we have to trust in and to believe in. Praise God, when we're walking through life's trials and tests and tribulation, and, 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 and mind you now, this is a great, great salvation. Hallelujah, yes, we're going to suffer, but it's, it's a joy in being saved. Amen. Hallelujah, it's a joy in being sanctified and set apart by the Holy Ghost. It's a joy because, praise God, without no test, we ain't got no testimony. Amen. So how are we going to help somebody else? Honey, believe God, trust God, You're making you strong, getting rid of them impurities in your life. Helping you to understand what's real and what's, what's important and what's not important anymore. Praise God. Separating, understanding what's temporal. Praise God. And what is eternal. Praise God. What are you living for if you're not living for Christ? Not only now, but we got a future. Amen. We got an eternal future. Praise God. We're going to. So everything works together. Amen. For the good because we love him. And we are the called according to his purpose. We are, we are men and women of God of purpose and the plan of God. Hallelujah. Ushering in the, the end times that soul and, and given the gospel of Jesus Christ, that souls may be won into the kingdom. Amen. Now, you would think that would be enough, don't you? Well, we already done read in the scriptures where nothing that, that we go through is just common to man and human beings. And mm -hmm. there's things that are going to 
there's things that we're going to be dealing with. And, and God, it didn't stop there. In, in Job, the second chapter, <laughs> the, the, the fourth verse, uh, Satan answered the Lord because he spoke, God spoke to him again, skin for skin. Yes, a man will give all he has for his life, but put forth your hand now and touch his bone and his flesh and severely afflict him and he will curse you to your face. Now understand this. God had already gave Satan permission to deal with Job's and his possession. He told, he told Satan, except for don't put your hands on him. Don't touch, his, yeah, don't touch him, don't the touch man. Him. Mm -hmm. touch now Satan is like this. Okay, you wouldn't let me do it the first time. And, and, and I, 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 let me go at him. If, if this is going to be a true test, I got to really put him to the mm -hmm. test. Mm -hmm. Let me go after his flesh. Because I know this. Uh huh. If you put your hands on his flesh, he going to give in. Mm -hmm. He ain't going to pass that test. Oh, my God. Yeah. So Satan departed. From the presence of the Lord mm -hmm. and struck Job. Mm -hmm. Oh no, the Lord said to Satan, Behold, he is in your hand. That was the sixth verse. Only spare his life. Now God put another restriction, a boundary on Satan. Mm -hmm. He says, Go after the man, but don't kill him. Mm -hmm. right. uh, so Satan departed from the presence of the Lord and struck Job with loathsome boils and agonizing painful sores from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. Now I'm going to submit to you. This is why Satan was adamant about letting God um, uh, uh, have him have access to the man. Mm -hmm. um, physical, I mean, possessions, mm -hmm. okay, that hurt. But it ain't, you know, mm -hmm. you get over that. You mm -hmm. can get some more possessions. Yeah. Um, your children, okay, that, that hurt too. Mm -hmm. But as long as Job was of child and his wife was of childbearing, then we also know that is there anything impossible with God? No, That's there's right. not. Uh, we found that there was people that did not have kids that were able to have kids mm -hmm. um, by way of the Lord. Uh huh. So, so you know, he he get over that. Mm -hmm. He get over that. Mm -hmm. But when you go after somebody's health with a debilitating uh, illness or disease or sickness that is not, uh, let's say, incurable. Let's say incurable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is not something that's easily gotten over. Mm -hmm. And, 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 it, and it takes its toll on the human being, on the person, because of no one likes to see themselves wither away or, or be in a, such a, a, a condition that they have never been before, particularly mm -hmm. if they were physically fit and able mm -hmm. to do things and now you can't. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that thing starts to yeah. wear out on you, not only on your health. But on your mental health, That's right. uh huh, That's because it starts playing tricks on your mind. That's right. And so and so 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 God so God let him do that, uh huh. And and and, and Satan depart. Yeah, mm hmm. And, and so and so Job took a piece of broken pottery, with which to scrape himself. And he sat down among the ashes, the rubbish heaps. Now, <laughs> this is something, y'all. Job had sores all over his body. Mm -hmm. So what did he do? He sat down among the ashes where he'd already been mourning and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and grieving for his children mm -hmm. and petitioning God on mm -hmm. and started scraping himself. Mm -hmm. now, now, some people might say, well, he ain't passing the test. Mm -hmm. Well, that's part of the test. Mm -hmm. Because don't you know, oh, my God, don't you know that, that you have to be able to come, oh, my God, you have to be able to, to fight through any and everything that you come up against. Yeah. And, and don't you know that God will always find a way for you to be able to do that. Now, it might not seem like he was doing anything right there. Oh, my God. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm going to tell you what, I'm, what I see happening here. Uh-huh. This is what was happening with Job. Job had had to have a, a, a tearing away, a, a pulling away of his flesh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's similar, if you will, to yes. what happens with us when we Dying come into the relationship the with the Lord Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. That flesh has to die. To die. So that's symbolic to me. Yes. Of what you, happens uh, uh, when we have to peel away yes, all that man. old stuff, that mm -hmm. stuff that has a Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Hebrews, the 12th chapter, let us set aside every weight and the yes, sin that's yes. so easy yes. and cl that clings to us, entangles us. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, oh, my God, sometimes when you've got things that are, that are keeping you from being able to accomplish anything that God would have for you to do or for you to pass the test, you got to pull that stuff away. Yes, yes. 
So Job was scraping that stuff off of him, getting it away from him, just separating it from him because he could not, he could not go forth and do what God would have him to do with all of that stuff that was hold that was that was all over him. And sometimes you just got to let some stuff go. Oh yeah. my God, Amen. And that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna let some <laughs> stuff go, and we're gonna pick this up at the end. We're gonna be we almost at the end. Amen. We're almost at the end. Yes, Lord. Praise God. Praise all right, God. this is um. That's just the truth anyhow. Amen. With the Weathersby's of Sound, the Alarm Ministries Amen. on Heart Ministry Network TV. When it is been, it has been done from the heart. You know that it, it is, is been and has been done right. right. Pass right. Evangelists are the Weathersby. And guess what? We do the thing in the, in the Lord. Lord. God, God bless, bless you. Bye-bye.